Merry Christmas and happy holidays to everyone. Um, I just wanted to hop on here really quick and just kind of talk to you guys. We are approaching the end of the year and I just really wanted to try and provide you guys with some encouragement. There are so many people out there right now that are traveling, getting on the road, they're angry, they're frustrated. Have some compassion on these people. People are cutting you off in traffic. People are giving you the middle finger. But understand, these people want to get to a destination and not everyone is able to calm themselves. Should they? Yes. I'm just saying, be a little more compassionate. Don't fight for people's position on the road. It's really not worth it. One car in front of you, it's really not worth it. So point is, be compassionate, be gracious. This is a stressful time for everyone. Everyone is going through some type of mental health crises during this time, whether that be you can't find the perfect gift for your kid or you can't find the perfect gift for your spouse. A lot of people are stressed. Um, or the thing that I really wanted to talk about today is you're looking around the room and that loved one that you miss so dearly is no longer sitting in that room with you. And I just want to encourage you all to take the time to absorb that. Don't try to ignore the feeling. Don't try to fight the feeling. Just take time to absorb it. Remember those loved ones. Think about those loved ones, okay? It's okay. Think about them. Because if they were here sitting with you, they would want you to be happy. And if what makes you happy partially is thinking about them, even in the sadness, it'll make you happy thinking about them, then do it. Don't let people tell you that you're grieving far too long. OK, a few years ago, uh, well, more than a few years ago, I was about 20 years old and I heard a guy giving a presentation and he talked about how during this time of year, not everyone is happy. At 20 years old, I didn't understand that. And as time went on, I began to understand more of what he was talking about. Be compassionate again, people. Not everybody around this time is celebrating because they're so hurt from the loss of a loved one. My father passed last year. My mom and my dad were married for 38 years. Imagine waking up next to someone for 38 years and then all of a sudden you don't have that on Christmas morning, okay? You don't have that on New Year's Day, that person where you just talk to, okay? So I just want you guys to be compassionate to one another. And if you have, if you're missing a loved one, you know, go visit their grave site. Maybe, maybe that'll make you feel closer to them. Just find some ways that you can deal with and cope with that. And as we go into the new year, just continue to be encouraged and be thankful that you're still here, that you can still accomplish the goals that you want to accomplish. OK, if you're still here, you still have a chance. OK, but um, I just really wanted to hop on real quick and just tell you guys that um, thank you for um following my channel. Thank you for my subscribers that are out there. Thank you for liking the videos. Thank you for viewing the videos. Thank you for supporting me. Um, I hope that I bring value to you um, in this channel. But yeah, just if you are, if you're hurting, it's okay to hurt. It's okay to be in the pain that you're feeling without being around your loved one. And for those of us that are facing as deep and serious mental health crises, um, go talk to someone. There is a hotline now, 988, um, that you can call for suicide prevention. You, they'll have someone readily available for you to talk to. Um, this time of year, people are impacted by the seasonal affective disorder, and that is a seasonal depression. A lot of people are impacted by that. Take care of your health, people. Take care of your mind. Take care of your body as much as you can. Listen, once again, I just want to thank you all for watching my videos and you know, laughing with me and following along with me as I go on this journey, as I start talking more about mental health and I start to engage you all more on the topic. So um, again, thank you for watching the channel and just stay encouraged as much as possible. Thank you.